hello hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well and having an amazing day wherever you are my name is hannah and i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful cushion cover so let's get started These are the supplies that you need for this project, fabric of your choice, some scissors, a cushion to measure your measurements, your fabric marker, thread, some pins and tape measure. To determine our pillow measurements, we are going to measure from this side all the way to the other end which gives us 16 and that will be our width. Then we are going to measure from this side all the way to the other side which gives us 16 and that is going to be our length so this is going to be our measurement so for my pillow I got 16 then I added 1 inch seam allowance to give me 17 inches then the length is 16 plus 1 inch so 17 for the back the width is still the same which is 16 plus 1 giving me 17, 17 inches but for the length, I added, for the length, I divided by 2, so 16 divided by 2 giving me 8 inches. And then I added 2.5 inches for both on each side, giving me 10 inches, 0.5, and uh, 10 inches, 0.5. So we'll start by working on our front side of the pillow. So I'm going to mark 17 inches as my length for the pillow. I'm going to go ahead and cut with my scissors where I've marked. Next, I'm going to do my width. And I forgot to tell you guys that I've already folded my fabric in half, so I'll be cutting it on a fold. And since it's on a fold, my initial width was 17 so I'm going to divide that by 2 because it's folded and that gives me 8.5 and then I'm going to mark 8.5 all around so I've finished doing my measurements then I'm going to go ahead and cut I'm done doing the front of the pillow and I'm going to go ahead and mark it as my front for the back pieces, I'm going to measure my length, which was 10.5 inches, and then I'm going to mark all around. And then when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and cut. Now I have my two back fabrics. Next thing to do is to fold over half an inch and then fold it again. Then I will go ahead and iron. So this is how the two back pieces look after I've already ironed them. I'm then going to go ahead and pin all around, then head over to my sewing machine to sew them. I'm going to be using a half an inch sewing allowance to sew. So now we have our three pieces of fabric, the two back piece and one front piece. The next step is going to be placing the front and the back pieces right sides facing each other and the wrong sides facing you. The two back pieces should overlap each other for that nice opening. The, the next thing to do is pin all around and sew.
the next step is going to trim down the little corners as I'm doing here I went ahead and searched my edges together to give it a more professional finish. You can go ahead and skip this step if you don't have a serger. Next step is to turn the pillow cushion inside out and then give it a good press and then we are done guys. This is how our cover looks after we've ironed. Next thing is to insert our cushion and that's it. So these are the final results of my cushion cover and I really really love it you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys loved this project and if you did give it a thumbs up and see you on my next video. Bye!